Pretty much everybody deal with stress every single day. There's no way to escape it. Work, family issues, financial obligations are part of everyday life that commonly contribute to elevated, heightened stress levels. Right, minimizing the chronic stress of daily life, such as as much as possible, can support your overall health. Chronic stress can increase the risk of health conditions. Including heart diseases, anxiety de- disorders, and depression, it is a very severe kind of stress that really will take a toll on your body. And today, I would like to share five habits to reduce stress and anxiety, back by science. So this is not a list I make up randomly. Does this, this a scientist? A lot of scientists have. Done psychology studies on these humans and make sure that these are proving stress relievers for everyone to try. All right. Hopefully, you can make it to、uh, list number five, which is the most powerful one. And don't forget to skip any videos. Don't skip any videos and make sure to get this with a big thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Spend a lot of time doing the research. Okay. First one is pretty interesting. Washing dishes. Right. So this.、Um, There's、uh, a Florida State University, right? They did a study on this. Have fifty-one students, uh, go into a room, right? Fifty-one students divided into twenty-five in each group, and those twenty-five students that kind of wash dishes compared to like the twenty-five other student、uh, control group that just did random things, and they found that the twenty-five students that wash dishes had decreased nervous kind of. Breakdowns by twenty one percent, or excuse me, twenty seven percent, right? And increase a mental health happiness by twenty five percent. Why? Why is washing dishes relieve stress? The reason is you are doing something that is not like really really hard, and you have to focus your mind and on that specific subject, right? You washing dishes, you gotta make sure that you gotta get all the sauce. Out of the plate, and you gotta get the sauce out of the pan. I just like bubbles, okay? I like bubbles. So whenever I wash dishes, like it's something that I enjoy, like washing dishes, or even brushing your teeth, it relieves me like stress. Like something that I did. Like sometimes I, I get stressed out, I just wash some dishes, and because there's bubbles, it's kind of fun. I don't know how you guys wash dishes, but I usually like、um, pour like a lot of water and. Can I、uh, seal the sink? So there's water in the sink, and just put some soap in it, and it's like everyone is taking a bubble bath, and it's kind of fun. Like you, when you the more you wash, the more bubbles you have, and you just kind of play with some bubbles. That's why I do play with. Even though I'm not done, but the scientific reason that washing this is like release stress is because you just focusing on that subject or that task at that time, right? Uh, you can't really wander off, because、um, it's like if you compare that with driving, right? You driving, you just sit there and stare at the sky, right? You just constantly think about that particular things that stress you out, whether it's family issues or whether it is、uh, finance. You just think about it, like driving. You you can't really focus on that task at hand. But washing dishes is different. You gotta focus on tasks at hand. You gotta look around. You gotta make sure that you get all the spots, and you bring. Doesn't really wander off to different places, right? Kind of、like、brushing your teeth too. You, you don't. You gotta look at the mirror, make sure you get all the teeth, all the spots, brush off, right? Any kind of task that requires attention will decrease kind of your stress level. Like if you think about, stop thinking about that thing that causes you stress, you will improve your mental health a lot more, right? That's why you need to let go of everything. Just Focus on the task at hand, and washing dishes is one of them. You just try it out, washing dishes, and you know that you bring that kind of thing about that specific task. And number two, second habit is、uh, cuddling or hugging something, right? If you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, cuddling just your body release that feel good dopamine and make you less stressful. You just cuddle, you close your eyes. Try not to think. You don't. You don't really think about anything because it's very, very comfortable. If you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, 
best second best thing is cuddle a dog right a dog and we have two dogs and sometimes my work gets stressful i just cuddle with that dog two of them and they're pretty big like 40 pounds or 50 pounds and they are amazing cuddlers because they're very fluffy animals if you don't have like pets everyone got to have a pillow that's what i do i cuddle with the pillow some and when i was single i don't have a dog or a girlfriend cuddle with the pillow just lay there and cuddle with the pillow and it make you feel good right it's not as effective as cuddling like a pet or your girlfriend but it does the trick like i sometimes just lay there and cuddle with the pillow or something and at the end like i cuddle with the pillow and watch tv or listen to i don't really listen depend on the subject that made me stress right if i was stressed because of love or something i don't want to listen to music because a lot of music talk about love i just cuddle and watch some tv or watch some watch some random youtube videos and it made me feel a lot better but recently when i get stressed out mostly just work i just color with my beautiful two pets ebony and angel they're like rc and uh silver wen wenhound or something and they are amazing colors even in the winter time i cannot wait till winter time color with them huge stress relievers and number three something that is interesting really interesting is you got to have a good, good posture all right stand up if you have a bad posture like me right now but if you stand up and you stand straight your brain feel like it's something like it's kind of refreshing it kind of feel like you have you you hit a button and your brain had a reset button or refresh button or it kind of like a desktop where you can f click and refresh the desktop that's where you feel like or you know how when you drive uh in the windshield and you can push the one of the button and you can have the windshield fluid and spray it out and you can wipe it again and it's a lot more clear that's what the posture does to you you gotta have a good posture stand up straight and when you stand up straight for like three minutes your whole brain gets a like more energy when you get more blood flowing into your brain your brain gets more uh, oxygen and make you feel a lot better right but another thing is like if you're really, really tired and you stress out i don't think like standing up straight can really help you be a lot uh, so i i think i suggest like cuddling with something or holding hands with a girlfriend can help out more then kind of stand out straight right and the fourth tip just that that's the fourth tip like you need a little bit more effort right which is early morning running or exercise right uh, my girlfriend's dad he wakes up four o'clock in the morning because his life is pretty, very stressful right wake up four o'clock in the morning and go for a run when he runs he doesn't he cannot think about anything the subject like yeah you know anything goes wrong don't think about it family work um finance don't think about anything just focus on running for like even 15 minutes it could be a huge huge stress reliever the way i relieve stress is around like four o'clock i would just go to the gym and lift when you lift something heavy right you think about it lifting right you don't think about all oh, all the other stuff going on like oh i forgot to cook or i, I don't know how i can reply to my manager so when you live you just think about lifting make sure you hold it tight and you increase your heart rate and that feels really really good when you increase your heart rate because all the blood is pumping throughout your whole body and you can feel it in every single muscle every single fingertip right so exercise is one of the my favorite stress relievers or oh, it reduce anxiety because you don't really you don't really think about stuff anymore when you exercise and this is a thing that i am still kind of working on because i want to wake up around like six o'clock or something but i'm trying to go sleep around nine o'clock can't really fall asleep because one thing is messing messing me up uh weekends weekends people like to stay out i like to stay out and play video games and video games could be like a stress reliever too because you just focus focusing on playing that video game but You'll be playing video games for like an hour or something because it is very addictive so think about that too um uh but i i've I been like trying to go to bed like around like five o'clock so i can wake up like six o'clock to go for a run or to do some exercise or record like a video or something that is kind of like a stress reliever so recording these videos is also making me feel a lot better too because i just like to talk because i work remote and i, I don't really have to talk to anybody the whole day
but um so that that kind of brings me to like uh, tip number five like daily habits number five which is go to bed on time all right so there is a very powerful uh, kind of habit right waking up five o'clock in the morning it's very powerful because when you wake up five o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning everything is is still at a stand standstill there's no car running there's no uh, messages from work right and everybody is still asleep and the sun is about to rise and it's the only time you get to work for yourself before you work for someone else that think about that think about that right that's a very powerful pretty powerful sentence i don't know who said it but that is a powerful quote waking up at six o'clock or five o'clock is the only time you get to work for yourself before you work for someone else right maybe you start work at eight o'clock your time is given to someone else but if you can wake up early you give yourself the time to meditate to go for a run to uh, just cuddle with someone right these times are viable and nobody gonna interrupt you right all the tips or like just suggestions what you can do but the thing is you gotta make time for these suggestions and going to bed on time maybe nine o'clock at 8 30 or 9 30 you can if you can wake up at six o'clock it'll change your life a lot because you have time to it's kind of like a fresh start right because if you wake up like if you go to sleep at one o'clock you wake up at like at seven o'clock you feel dizzy your mind is dizzy you don't really, really feel fully awake yet right so always go bed on time so you can wake up around six to seven i'm gonna be honest like i wake up like seven o'clock go to sleep around 11. i cannot fall asleep that early but i'm working on it because I know how powerful it is to wake up early in the morning and you have all the times to yourself all right that is about the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it enjoy the tip try some of the tips out and try make it into a habit and you'll see some results right these habits does take a little bit of time to like um, build up like waking up early and having a good posture these are like tips that they take some time to kind of Build up to the success rate, but some easier to like washing dishes, right? These are a lot easier things that you can try right now. Where just wash some dishes and see if it reduces your stress level. I like to wash dishes, and sometimes it does reduce my stress level. But it was like so stressful. Like I usually go for a run or go for a workout. These are like really good tips that you can try right now. And thanks for watching. Make sure to get this video a big thumbs up. And my name is Kelvin, and I see you guys next one.